an estate sale for four dollars in texas condition was great i rejected several low ball offers and ended up selling at full price in less than a week for 249 dollars Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit on any platform. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And hopefully, when you're out in the wild, you can find these items. So the first item here is this uh, mobile. It's a wind chime mobile. It's 1985 Royal Dalton, the snowman flying snowman this is what it looks like and look isn't it cute so cute definitely vintage and labeled so easy to look up she said i found this item in a goodie bag at a local thrift store i knew some royal dalton items were worth good money i paid less than four dollars for the goodie bag an overseas buyer bought it at full asking price of 69.99 after Christmas, even though it was listed in October or November. Yeah, I sell Christmas stuff all the time after Christmas, especially right after Christmas. I think people are putting things away and they break stuff and they're looking for replacements or they're looking for something like, oh, I think I can get it discounted right now because it's after Christmas for next Christmas. I don't know. Maybe a tradition people have. Let's buy something after Christmas for next Christmas. Donate something, buy something. That sounds kind of fun, right? Seven dinner plates, world market, red floral, flower rim, Latisse Ber Verge, Portugal. I purchased these at Goodwill for 10. After sitting around um, for, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. After sitting at around 200 with likes and no offers, I, I would randomly drop the price. I had it at 95 and someone randomly purchased this. Um, from her Mercari shop. All right, so this is what they look like. And on Mercari, you can choose free shipping or you can choose Mercari shipping. She chose Mercari shipping. Oh, goodness. To me, this just looks like a shipping nightmare. I know it's not that bad. Uh, what are your tricks and tips for something like this? Do you put cardboard in between them? Do you bubble wrap in between them? When you have plates that are all the same, like these dinner plates, Anybody have any tips for shipping? Put those down in the comments. That'll help everybody out. So $10 into 95 on this. And I apologize, you guys. What I'm doing is I'm reading directly from Facebook what people write in the comments. And sometimes the words get me tripped up. So if you guys want to share a bolo, you can go over to my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and look for the share post and share bolo. And if you put your eBay store or your YouTube channel, I will shout that out in the video. So it's a great way to get exposure for your store and stuff like that. So picked this awesome vintage mechanical putting lamp up at my favorite local thrift shop, Steps to Hope in Landrum, South Carolina. Paid up a little for it at $25 and sold for $315 on the first. What a start to bring in the new year. Shout out eBay store Roaming the Wilds and YouTube channel Carolina Roamer. And it looks like $315. So it looks like you turn it on and maybe it hits the ball. I want to see it work. Oh, I wish there was a video. That would be so fun, right? Cute, cute, cute. You can add a video to your eBay listings. On something like this, I would definitely recommend that. It's really, really simple to do. And if you don't know how to add a video from your phone, there is a workaround in MacPack Reselling has a video on that. I always just add the video into um, onto my computer and then I go into the listing on my computer and add the video. But she has a workaround that you can do it right from your phone. So check that out, Mac Pack Reselling. This is a Mega Superheroes 50th Anniversary Big Lots exclusive Batman and the Joker. This one comes from Jody Toy Attic on YouTube. She is Got a fantastic YouTube channel, sells a lot of toys, and knows a lot about strawberry shortcake. Um, right before Christmas, Big Lots had a BOGO half-off sale on their toys. I picked these up for 30 total, and they sold in just a few days for 100 Check your local Big Lots to see if they have more of these. Wow, I looked at that and thought that it was old, but maybe it's just supposed to look old. Way to go. How fun is that? That is fun. 
Okay, Pristine Thomasville, Ernest Hemingway, Bibliophile, Mahogany, Revolving Bookcase. Mouth. That was a mouthful. I bought this on offer up for $250 and sold it on eBay for $2,100. Wow. 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 Look at that. That is stunning. That is just incredible. So he normally sells Ethan Allen. You guys know the Ethan Allen guy. That's who sold this. And everybody always, well, not everybody, but there have been people who have asked, besides Ethan Allen, what's another brand to look for? Well, it looks like this might be a good brand. It's, or perhaps it's just this style. I've never seen anything like that. That's incredible. John Bacard, Professor Graduation Smart Owl, Crushed Marble Sculpture. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. You know I like owls, guys. I like that little stretcher thing that shows the size of it. Did you see that? Look at that. That's pretty cool. Hey there. Thanks for uh, wanting to feature my bolo. Found this out at my local thrift store in Western Vir uh, Loudoun, Virginia for $1 as I was standing in line to check out and I can't say no to an owl. So it came home with me. Oh, that sounds like me. And it sat in my china cabinet for months before I decided to research it and finally listed it. Got an offer for 50 and ignored it. And then finally got full asking price of 350 to an overseas buyer. 350 And she paid a dollar for it. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. Trip. New York City. Oh, this is just going to keep popping up unless I close it. Hold on. Let's see. This is, I have an offer on an item. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Trip NYC black pants, size nine, biker goth chain, Y2K vintage. Yes. If you find something from around the year 2000, definitely put Y2K in the title. People are looking for that. Gross kid collectibles sold this. Look at these. Those are embellished, right? Oh, that's just going to keep popping up. Okay. That's weird. I hit the X. I came up on this bolo by luck, honestly. I was walking out from the fitting room at a local Goodwill and found these on the return rack. I don't buy clothes, but these caught my attention. Trip New York City women's pants paid a whopping $4 since they were half off of eight. These sold for $99. You can check it out. Wowza. That is awesome. The next item is this Nora Fleming tissue box cover in pearl dot. Retired, hard to find, ceramic. Found this Nora Fleming tissue box cover at the Goodwill for $5.99. Sold in less than 24 hours for $179.99. Total profit after cost of goods, $162.61. This cover is retired and hard to find. Recent sold showed new open box selling for $200. I listed it for the same amount and sent an offer to several watchers for 10% off. Very happy with the quick flip. This one comes from the Prairie Flipper. I'm sorry, the Prairie Picker. The next one comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk. Check her out here on eBay and on YouTube. She also has a Facebook and she is also a moderator of this Facebook group and she is fantastic. You're going to love her what sold videos. Check her out. Vintage Crease and Company Hippopotamus Pink Ceramic Vanity Caddy, Caddy Anthro. Oh man, I had it just in another video. Anthropomorphic. I can't remember how to say it. It means it has a face. It's an animal with a face. Anthropomorphic. Ah, uh, why can't I remember? I can never remember how to say that word. Uh, she said, I purchased this hippo at a yard sale for $2, sold it for $39.99. I love it. It's a hippo. It's so cute. What's on its teeth? Are those some bling? Bling on the teeth? Oh, that is funny. That is funny. There you go. All righty. We have this faff embroidery endless hoop too for creative vision. And she said, I got this at a thrift store for five and sold it. I'm sorry, listed for $139.99 or best offer on eBay and took an offer of $130. It was listed for four months. So it's some sort of tool. Hoop, some sort of 
sewing tool. <laughs> there you go, guys. Would you have walked past it or would you have picked it up? I got this at an estate sale for $20, listed it at 8 a.m. and sold in less than 12 hours for full asking price of $149.90 plus shipping. I did look at comps but couldn't find one with the tulips. So I posted what I thought would be reasonable. Wow. And it sold in 12 hours. So she probably could have gotten more, but maybe not. Elizabeth Bradley Needlepoint Kit Cottage Garden. Check it out. Some of these kits can go for big money. Definitely look them up. Vintage um, Heisner, West Germany gnome figurine. She said, I bought for $2 at an estate sale and sold it on Poshmark for $55. Yes, Poshmark, Mercari. It's not just clothing. You can sell hard goods there. Definitely check out those platforms. I do have links down below. Poshmark, you can get $10 to shop with my referral link. And Mercari, you can get $10 to shop with my referral link and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari. So if you're looking to branch out, I use List Perfectly to cross post. Highly recommend it. I have a video down below that shows you how to use List Perfectly. I've been using it since 2019. Definitely a keeper. All right, here we go. Bought these cute um, and on List Perfectly, I forgot to tell you, 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLA Buddies. And if you watch that video and decide it's a good fit for you, bought these cute vintage. Oh, here's the word again. Anthropomorphic. Did I get it right that time? Anthropomorphic. I'm sounding it out. Ladybug musician wooden figures at an estate sale for $3 sold for full asking price of $64.99. They are tiny one inch by one inch and hard to find these hand paint. These had paint loss and damage and would have sold for much more in better condition. Prairie picker also. Look at them. They're little ladybugs. They're little ladybugs. How fun is that? All right. This next one comes from Jersey Shore Thrifter. And he said, when I'm not trash picking, I'm at, let's see. I like my local church thrift store. Uh, found there was this railroad set called MTH Ready to Run. Paid 20 and the box was huge. I knew for sure it was going to get parted out. I made four listings, three of which sold in under one week. Full asking price, $149 free shipping for the engine. Tender combo, full asking price, $149 free shipping for the power pack and took an offer of $80 plus shipping for the tracks. The set of three other cars are still up for sale. My advice is to look at the big sets as parting out opportunities. This set in its complete form would have brought $300 and the fees to ship would have cut that way back. I am at $380 for this item with more sales yet to come. So in this situation, parting it out was the way to go. You know, shipping that big box, it just cuts into your profits. So he took a best offer of 80 on this. You could even go as far as to sell this single piece separately. All right. It's a vintage Panasonic Platinum RX 5150 AM FM cassette boombox 80s hip hop. Hi, everyone. I picked up this vintage Panasonic radio at an estate sale for $4 in Texas. Condition was great. I rejected several lowball offers and ended up selling at full price in less than a week for $249. Bam. Look at that. What do you guys think? Bringing back some memories. Is it nostalgic for you? All right, here we go. Mattel, 1984. This one is the Hart Family doll. Let's see. Her makeup looks good. Uh, definitely get close-ups of the face, you guys. Her makeup looks really good. If there's any imperfections, I also recommend that you show the body because a lot of times they have splits and cracks and damage because kids have played with them. This one looks pretty nice though. I got this from a local toy store. It was in a tote of things they saw no worth in. Traded $80 worth of stuff for the tote. I made over 200, then I found this. Looks like it sold for $89.99. All right. The next item here is a South Park VHS lot volumes 1 through 12. And looks like this one is in Canada. VHS may have value sometimes. I paid nine for this lot and sold the lot for $75 in a little over a month. I got it at the Goodwill as a lot. $75 plus shipping. And again, I don't know... Um, how that equates to U.S. dollars. 
Look at this. Vintage Fisher Price Puffy Doll Local Thrift Store 50 cents. She looked really angry after I washed her, but she still sold on Mercari for 26. Red Ruler Reseller. So it looks like it has um Is that how it's supposed to look or is that from washing it? Either way, it still sold for 26. I think that's damage. Yeah. There you go. Still sold, guys. People are looking for it. They'll pay for it, even if it's damaged. This is a Slade jogger tracksuit, white windbreaker, and pants set medium from the 90s. This one comes from Piece of Scrap. You can find her here on eBay and also on YouTube. Check out some of her What Sold videos. She's fantastic. She sells a lot of clothing and shoes, and she finds the goods. So paid $7.50 at the Goodwill, sold for $49, shipped after accepting best offer. There it is. The next item is mine, and I did a whole video about this. Um, if you type in Bolo Buddies Sleeper Bolo, I'm going to talk to you about Martha Sleeper. And there are certain things, uh, jewelry items that she made that sell for big money, and a lot of them are not marked. So definitely check out that video. This is one that is not marked. Somebody reached out to me and told me what it was. And I tell that whole story in the video, but definitely check it out because I sold this for $235. Now, could I have held out and got more? Yeah, possibly because I could not find the same exact one, not even on Worth Point. I couldn't find it. I did find, I'll sh I show you in the other video, a pamphlet that shows the other ones from this series. And this guy was on it, but that's all I could find. And I didn't find that before I listed it. I found that when I was doing the research video for you guys and myself. I do those research videos to help myself learn and to help you guys learn. I am by no means an expert in jewelry. I absolutely actually know very little about jewelry. And that's why I sell most of my jewelry over on Whatnot, almost all of it. So if you guys are looking for some deals, I do a lot of untanglings over on Whatnot. I'm Bolo Buddies over there, all one word. And I do have a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop if you join Whatnot with that link. Come hang out. It's super fun. Don't You don't, don't have to feel any pressure to buy anything, but it's untangling. So it's entertainment as well. So uh, yeah, check out that video for more information on this. But this is actually a um, fur clip. See how it attaches? It's not a brooch. And it was not in perfect condition. So super, super cool bolo right there. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you at the next one. Head over to the Facebook group. Look for the Share Your Best February Bolo and share a bolo to be featured in a video just like this. Thanks for watching.